And your glasses. I'll keep letting people head. in as as they show up. Okay. Um. I'm going to call to order the West River Modified Union Education District Annual 2020 Annual Meeting. Uh, my name is David Lebo. I'm the uh, Union Education District Moderator. I'm going to read the uh, warning. The legal voters of the West River Modified Union Education District, comprising the voters of the towns of Brookline, Jamaica, Newfane, and Townsend for the pre-kindergarten through grade 12 and the town of Wyndham for grade 7 through 12, are hereby notified and warned to meet at the Leland and Gray High School in Townsend, Vermont on Tuesday, June 9th, 2020 at 7 p.m. to transact any of the following business not involved voting by Australian ballot. Upon the conclusion of the business not involving voting by Australian ballot, the meeting is to be adjourned and reconvened in the respective polling places here and after named for each of the above referenced towns on Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, beginning at 9 a.m. in Brookline, 9 a.m. in Jamaica, 9 a.m. in Newfane, 9 a.m. in Townsend, and 10 a.m. in Wyndham. Polls will close in such towns at 7 p.m. So the meeting is open. If there's no objection, I'll refrain from reading the rest of the warning. Put a little hand up. Does everybody need to put that little hand up if you have an objection? You're good? That's good? Okay. I won't read the rest of the warning. Uh, I'd like to introduce the board. Are there uh, members of the public here, I assume? So let's there are members the of the public here. Okay, so let's have the board introduce themselves one by one, please. Okay, my name is Joe Winrick. I'm the chair of the board. Um, I am a resident of Townsend and elected by the uh, voters of Townsend. <clears throat> Lindsay, you're Al next Boston. in the thing. Oh, you know, sorry. I mean, Al, go ahead. Al, you're Townsend. <laughs> Each one of you, why don't we do this? Each one of you pass it off to another. Good idea. All right, Al okay. Clawson, Vice Chair, Townsend, resident of Townsend. Lindsay. I'm Lindsay Bertram. I'm from Newfane. You have to give it to somebody, Lindsay. I'm sorry, this is all exciting. I'll give it to Emily. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Um, I am Emily Long from Newfane, and happy to see everyone here, and I'll hand it off to Trish. Thank you. I'm Trish Scott. I am a resident of Townsend and I'm in one of the at-large positions. Uh, Leanne. Hi, I'm Leanne Jolson. Um, I am from Brookline and I'll hand it off to Mike. Mike, you're muted. Hi, I'm Mike Foley. I'm from Townsend. I'm an at-large member. Um, I will pass it off to Howie. Hi, I'm Howie Iris. I'm the representative from Wyndham. Oh, I'll pass it off to Ken, Ken McFadden. Hi, I'm Ken McFadden. I'm uh, from Newfane. And I will pass it off to, let me see here, Dana. Did they get you yet? No, not yet. I'm Dana West. I'm from a representative from Jamaica. And I'll pass it off to my partner, Keegan. Hi, my name is Keegan Eaker. I'm a resident of Jamaica. And I think Al Clausen is still needing to be introduced. Keegan, you are really quiet for me. Did anybody else have trouble hearing her? No, I heard her. Yeah, she's quiet, though. Okay. Oh, no. Leanne and did and Al already did introduce I, I did. Thank you, though. <laughs> see, when I do Zoom meetings, I feel like I'm on a cell phone and I yell. So if I, if you seem like I'm yelling, it's because I'm, I feel like I need to. Uh, all the board introduced? Yes? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Okay, let's move on to Article 1. Uh, to elect a moderator, I'll entertain nominations for the moderator position. Nominate David Lebo. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Seconds are needed for nominations, Mike, but thank you. Any other nominations? Hearing no further nominations, I declare the nominations closed and instruct the clerk to cast one ballot for David Lebo for moderator position for the year 2020 for the West River Modified Union Education District. All those in favor, please say aye. Or wait, you can't say aye. Raise your little hands. We we have to do a roll call vote. Oh, you got 
for everybody here? Well, that's well, for actually the board. That's for the board. Um, this is for the public. Does everybody have that little reaction thing down here on the right? You can put your little thumb up or you can put your little hand up. All those in favor, thumbs up. All those not in favor, put your slap me. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I see thumbs up. Okay. No objections. Thank you very much. I appreciate the position. Article two, uh, to elect the following officers, clerk and treasurer. We'll start with clerk, which I believe right now is Anita Bean. I'll uh, uh, entertain motions for clerk. This is Emily. I'll nominate Anita Bean for clerk. Anita Bean's been nominated. There's the clerk. Any other nominations? Hearing no other nominations, um, I declare the nom nominations closed and instruct the clerk to cast one ballot for Anita Bean for the clerk of the West River Modified Union Education District for the year 2020. All those in favor, give me a thumbs up. And, and no, give me a slap. Slap me if no. <laughs> I believe the eyes have it. The eyes do have it. Anita Bean has been elected clerk. I'll now entertain nominations for treasurer. Nominate Rick Hagee. Rick Hagee's been, oh, Rick Hagee, right. He is the current treasurer. Thank you, Rick Hagee has been nominated. Any other nominations for clerk? Hearing no other no nominations, I declare the nominations closed and instruct the clerk to cast one ballot for Rick Hagee for treasurer of the West River Modified Union education district 2020. All those in favor, thumbs up. All those against, slap or uh, wave hand. Okay. I believe the eyes have it. The eyes do have it. Thank you. Rick Hagee has been elected treasurer. Article three. To hear and act upon the report of the school district officers. Do we have something to hear, school district officers? Uh, we publish the annual report, um, at, and we could certainly answer questions about the annual report that we were published that was distributed months ago. Um, there is no formal report. So do we act upon that report? Are we voting approval of that report? We, we don't, we do not. So what do we do with article three? Answer questions about it. Okay. If there Actually, are any. If I I'll just say, I think we do have to approve the report, which I think is our annual report. It says act upon and that right. usually requires our approval. I was going to okay. kind of an art, article. Okay. So any questions? Uh, I'll entertain a motion then um, for approval of the school district report. So I'll we'll make a motion to approve the report. Thank you. Second? I'll second it. Thank you. Discussion? Hearing no discussion, there's a motion before us to approve the uh, school district report. All those in favor, thumbs up. All those against, slap or hand. Ken McFadden's uh, abstaining. Okay, can we register that? Ken McFadden abstains? Uh, sure. Got it. Thank you. I believe the eyes have it. Uh, the uh, school district report is approved. I we'll am going to need to know who made the motion and who seconded, though. Oh, sorry. Keegan, Keegan Eaker from Jamaica made the motion. 
I'm hoping I'm loud enough that you can hear me. Say it again. It was Keegan Eaker. Thank you. And okay. Dana West, and Dana thank West seconded it. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Dana. Okay, moving on to Article 4. To transact any other business that may legally come before this meeting. Any other non-binding business that you want to vote on? If not, and if there are questions, we're going to move, we're going to close this meeting, the official meeting, and then move on to kind of an informational meeting, more of an informational meeting. Hearing no other business to come. Um, yes, Keegan, go ahead. Someone just posted in the chat box that mm. they would like to share something. I don't know if okay. that sure. needs to be read by oh. someone, but it looks like someone has some concerns that they would like to share. I don't know if this is the time to do that, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, we've, we've got a chat. Chat chat can't be recorded and put into the official part of the meeting um, and we have someone who's come into the meeting um, with no ability to speak but it um, can be although, read though what it can be read into record yeah it can be read although i got, there there are phone numbers that you can call into you then can't watch the meeting but you can hear and be heard right so th so you don't have to have a a, a computer with a microphone. Al? Actually, you can do both. You can call in and actually watch as well. Right. But if you didn't have a computer, Zoom doesn't exclude you from showing up because you can call in, was the point that I was making. Right, right. Yep. But yeah, definitely call in, be heard. Okay. So I can just read this in. Joe, can you can you just give that number? Is it possible for you to just public just say the number? Do you have it in front of you? I, I can get it. Hold on one second. It might help for anyone who's unable to speak and is part of the meeting. It just it looks like part of the problem is that it's a toll number, and the person having the problem doesn't have long distance service. Um, the number the the number is six four six. Eight seven six nine nine two three. Um, say it again, Joe. Six four six eight seven six nine nine two three. There, there are multiple numbers, but that is that's the closest one to our area. Okay. Do you want to read it, Joe? Do you want me to read it? Sure. Okay. Um, so this is in response to, hold on. <laughs> um, this is in response to my saying that chat isn't an official part of the meeting. Um, wow, that is a real bummer that I can't even have my voice heard. I must say that this meeting is appearing to be somewhat of a sham. I was never told I had to have a mic, which I can't afford, and would not know how to set up. This meeting is pretty exclusionary, so there does not even seem to be a purpose to even listen to this. I have been a registered voter who has voted in every meeting since I moved down here 34 years ago, and I am saddened that I cannot even have my voice heard. This very greatly troubles me, and perhaps I should check in with the Secretary of State's office on how this meeting was conducted. It is possible, it, is it possible to have my, uh, oh, comments noted. <laughs> I, I, I do not have long distance service, it is a toll number. Um, well, your comment has been read into the record, so yes. Um, I, I, I there was another comment before that, I'm so, Joe. I'm sorry? I believe there was another comment before that one. Uh, just, just the one that said I can't 
here and whatever. And I said, chats aren't part of the meeting. The, the first message read, greetings, I'm low tech, have no camera on my desktop and no mic, but I can hear and see you and will use chat box to say something. I do wish that this meeting had been better publicized. There are only 24 people on this meeting. If you take out the board members and staff, I doubt there are five actual voters in the meeting. I really think there should have been a mailing sent out. I believe this meeting was warned in March and was moved and warned. It's been in the paper. It, um, it was uh, properly warned and properly advertised. Um, it was moved to Zoom. Unfortunately, in the new COVID environment with which we live, this is becoming the new norm. Um, that's the way the global world is, the global world, uh, two words, uh, is moving. We apologize for the fact that um, you might not be able to, but I don't know if libraries are open now, but, but there may be some other avenue um, to get uh, in touch with us. You can continue to type and we'll keep a look at the chat box. And we'll see if we can um, get your uh, comments read into the record. Okay. Um, so that's Article Trish 4. Scott has her hand up, David. Oh, wait. I didn't see a hand. Who had a hand? Trish Scott. Trish, sorry. No, that's okay. Thanks. I just wanted to, to make note that there's nothing that, that a, a member of the public would be voting on in this meeting anyway. That's tomorrow. So... If that was that, the concern, I just wanted to voice that that his vote will still he can still go and vote tomorrow. It's nothing. There isn't a vote happening this evening. Actually, we just did quite a number yeah. of votes, and it wasn't the board that was voting; it was the members of the public and the board. It's it, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was thinking that he was concerned about tomorrow's. Well, I, it may be, but I, I just want to make sure that people understand that the, the voters of the district just voted on this, not the voters of the board. Gotcha. Right. So, so we did take a few votes for the moderator and the other positions, and and acted on the report. So we did we did register votes, um, but main voting, like you said, Trish, on the budget is actually tomorrow. Right. Okay. So, any other business to come before the meeting? Hearing none and seeing no other. Texts or chats? Um, okay, I'll entertain him. Yes, Is that a hand, Keegan? Keegan. Yes, Keegan. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if this would be the appropriate time, um, but I did want to raise the the issue that I ran into today. There's three separate websites that are connected to this particular board, and only one of them is being updated. Can we make an effort to either update all websites at all times or get rid of the two that we haven't been using since 2017? That way there's less confusion for public access of information. Or would that not be an appropriate conversation for right now? It's noted and we can have it taken care of. Thanks. There's another comment in the chat. Okay. I do not mean to cause trouble, but I wanted an avenue to be able to put something on the record. I still disagree, and there is a vote. Please follow what this is, a legal meeting. Mm hmm There's more. Joe, you want to read more? Sure. I'm very disappointed in this whole process. There were votes cast tonight, and I could not cast a vote. Now someone else has weighed in with, this is, FYI, this is what was on the Town of Newfane website about this meeting. No mention of Zoom. Um, it was just about the voting instructions for tomorrow with an annual meeting tonight. Um, 
the okay that was part of that was part of the one page how to vote tomorrow that everyone was concerned about getting out Okay, well, it's been right into the record. Um, I do believe that meetings like this are taking place all over Vermont right now. Um, and it was legally warned. Um, phone numbers were available and other avenues were uh, published. So if there's no other business to come before the meeting, uh, there's another hand, David. Ken McFadden has his hand up and... Oh, and um, can't see him. You need to use a little reaction thing. Okay. Ken, go ahead. Is that his okay, hand? Sorry, yeah, sorry. I had to unmute. Uh, now, it, it, I, I think what is the, the main problem here is, and I really wish that he, he could physically weigh in, uh, is that it, uh, according to his chat log here i don't want to read the whole thing out it says this is what he read on the website that the west river modified unified education district annual meeting is tuesday uh on the 9th at 7 p.m at leland and gray so it's we should have some we used to have somebody up at leland and gray in case a member of the public wanted to show up for the meeting or a couple, because we can entertain up to 20, 25 people now, or at least 10 in a room. So I don't, I don't know why somebody wasn't up there. Just saying. If it's advertised that somebody that the meeting was going to be held up at Leland and Gray, somebody should have been up at Leland and Gray to let members of the public in that couldn't get on in Zoom. Is that the board that published that, or is that New Fane that published that? That's the language from the original warning, and when we were rewarning and postponing the meeting because of COVID, the warning was never changed to read that it was only a Zoom meeting. Um, we were never advised in consultation with the Secretary of State that that should be updated. Um, we did publicize that this was only a Zoom meeting on every school Facebook page, every school website, um, in the paper, everywhere we could, as much as we could, that this was still going to be a virtual meeting because the governor lifted the, the restriction on the gathering to 25 recently enough and the logistics of trying to hold the meeting over Zoom and in a person and in a place and do it all safely, we didn't work that out, and we felt that this was the best course of action to to hold this meeting. Okay, well, and that and that may be something that has to be the Secretary of State has to look at later. If somebody wants to um, push that issue. And just just for the record, so everybody knows. Uh, this is Billy Gunther, who does not have the camera, and he has shown up at every one of our informational meetings and every one of our votes and every one of our annual meetings since we started. So I'm just pointing that out to you. The, the other chat participant, um, uh, no one was at Leland and Gray, um, but they, they're saying that they, they didn't go. They heard about the Zoom call and joined. They're not upset. They're just sharing information about what was out there. Okay, any other business? Hearing no other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'm looking for hands. Oh, move. That was Ken Kenneth. Chris Scott seconded. I see a thumb. All those in favor, thumbs up, I guess. 
Thumbs up. Okay. The uh, West River Modified Union Education 2020 Annual Meeting is now adjourned. And now um, I'm going to pass it over to Joe. Um, Mr. Gunther, if you want to ask questions through the chat box, too, you can go ahead and do that. And then um, I don't know if you, you want to just go down through the articles, Joe, or sure. entertain um, questions. Um, we now come to the part that's an informational hearing on articles 5 to 12. Um, there's no action that's taken, but we're here to um, ask questions, hear thoughts, whatever. Um, these are the ballot questions that will be voted on tomorrow. Um, Article 5 is, shall the voters of the district authorize the Board of School Directors to borrow money by issuance of bonds or notes not in excess of anticipated revenues for the next fiscal year? Um, any, any questions regarding that specific article? Comments? Joe, the other thing is no, no talk about uh, elections tomorrow. We can't talk about no. the actual, right. I mean, the actual personal elections tomorrow. Right. There, there will okay. be an election for an at-large school director under Article right. 11, and there are multiple candidates, and you can write them in, but that's as much as we'll say about that. Right. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, David. Yes. Okay, I don't see any. Um, you can also, rather than raise your hand, um, just unmute yourself and speak, members of the public. I'm looking for hands. Keegan, you have a question on Article 5? Well, I just think it would be helpful to clarify for anyone who doesn't know what a bond would be used for. Um, and since it's something that the public is going to be voting on and not everyone is a banker, um, just acknowledging that folks have an opportunity to apply for bonds that would not go beyond the expected amount of money that would come through. Would we have an example of what that would look like just to make sure that all of our public friends are informed about what that actually means? Or am um, I making a false assumption that everybody yeah. knows and <laughs> it's my inner teacher of trying to just be informed? <laughs> um, this, this article is um, essentially, it, this article doesn't deal with a bond for a specific purpose, such as, you know, a project or something like that. That would be a separate vote. This is just operational. For instance, um, since tax revenue comes in, um, you know, later in the year, oftentimes the school districts then have a, a borrowing authority. Um, you know, it's, it's more, it's a note rather than a bond to just bridge the gap until the revenues sh start coming in. But there, this, is, this is different than, you know, the sort of traditional bond for a large project kind of thing. Thanks, Joe. That's what I this is about. That. Okay, I don't see any questions on that one or additional comments. The next article says, shall the voters of the district approve compensation to the current officers for their services during the fiscal year 2021 in the following amounts? The moderator is $250, the clerk is $2,000, and the treasurer is $2,000. Those are the same salaries that we've paid those positions since this um, last year. Um, the um, clerk and the treasurer both have duties um, almost on a monthly basis. We've kept our clerk really hopping this year, and our treasurer uh, reviews and signs checks every month. Um, we're a little kinder to our moderator, hence the lower fee. He just does one meeting unless we get crazy. But if anyone has any questions or comments on those on that article, I'd be happy to address them. Seeing no little hands. Article 7, shall the voters of the district approve compensation to the school directors for their service during the fiscal year 2021, $1,000 per director and $1,200 to the chair? Again, same salaries as we got last year. Um, not much to say about them. Comments, questions? 
I'd like to make the same motion I made last year that we get paid the same amount as the River Valley's board, two thousand a piece. No, you you can't make that motion now. Joe? Yes. Tristan? Got it. I just saw your hand go up. Question, how much of that money was claimed in the last fiscal year? How much was not claimed in the last fiscal year? Um, I don't know. Do we have Lori on? Lori, are you on? Do you know the answer to that question? Um, it, just to clarify, are you talking about um, when a person claims it on their taxes or when it was uh, paid? I'm asking about the amount that has been budgeted as compensation to members of the board and whether members of the board have used 100% of that budgeted amount or not. That's simply the question. Thank you. Um, the answer is the board members have been paid. And I believe that there were actually uh, uh, some board members that did not uh, decided to donate back. So it's probably not 100% paid out on that line item. Does that make sense? Thank you. Okay, I don't see any other hands. Um, the next item, the next article voted on is Article 8, shall the voters of the district set the date of the 2021 annual meeting as the fourth Tuesday in March? That continues what has been our annual meeting. No comments, questions? I don't see any hands. <clears throat> I've got a question, Joe. Would it be possible for us to have semi-annual meetings or do we only ever host one a year in this style? Um, we just only have the one annual meeting um, to, to take care of these specific things. Um, it's a statutory piece. I mean, we hold board meetings every month. And those are public meetings and anyone can show up and we add things to the agenda. So it's not like this is someone's only chance to do it. Um, so we, we just hold the annual meeting as a statutory piece. Thank you. Okay. The next article is the um, elementary or the, yeah, the pre-K-6 portion of the budget, shall the voters of the West River Modified Union Education District approve the school board to expend $5,791,710 for grades, for grades pre-K-6, which is the amount the school board has determined to be necessary for the ensuing fiscal year. It is estimated that this proposed budget, if approved, will result in education spending of 20,465 per equalized pupil. This projected spending per equalized pupil is 10.38% higher than spending for the current year. Leanne, you have a question? Uh, actually, it was just more of a notice. Um, I still have my chat window open, so I noticed that Bill Gunther has another message he really wanted read in. Um, about the importance of voting to him. I don't know when you want to do that. I just want to make sure it was seen. Sure. He says, the multiple websites are very confusing to try to follow. I, unlike many of my fellow citizens, try to stay plugged into what's going on. Ken, thank you for your comments of my attendance. I don't have kids, but voting is so important to me and having been stationed for some of my military time in West Berlin during the Cold War, and seeing the absolute horrors of people being shot who simply wanted a right to vote. So voting is so important to me. I would like very much, I would very much like my above comment to be read so that folks understand what voting means to me. 
Thank you. So no other hands. Okay. Um, the next, Ken. Yeah, I'd just like to uh, thank Mr. Gunther for his military service. And I feel the same way he does about voting. So thank you very much. Okay, Article 9. I'm just checking for hands again. Article 9 is the, I'm sorry, we just did Article 9. Article 10 is the um, 7 through 12 piece of the budget. Shall the voters of the West River Modified Union Education District approve the school board to expend $6,256,021 for grades 7 to 12, which is the amount the school board has determined to be necessary for the ensuing fiscal year. It is estimated that this proposed budget, if approved, will result in education spending of $24,752 per equalized pupil. This projected spending per equalized pupil is 8.4% higher than the spending for the current year. Keegan, you have a question. Um, it's just a follow-up comment from the meeting that we had yesterday as a reminder, um, because they are it's a split budget, but it's one budget for the entire um, school system. I think uh, Lori had mentioned the importance of recognizing that if you vote for one, you should really be voting for both. Because if you split your vote, it doesn't really help either pass or not pass the budget. Lori, is that an accurate retelling of what you had mentioned yesterday? I think yes, Keegan, thank you for bringing that up. It's um, important. Uh, I think that in the annual report, there is a page that uh, really talks about how it is split uh, for Article 17, um, but it really needs to be either vote yes all, all the way through or no all the way through, um, because the board will come back and look at the budget as a pre-K through 12 budget. Thanks, Lori. That's page 16 in the annual report, and that... Um, that document is also available on the West River um, website. Someone's asking if there's a copy of the ballot that we will receive tomorrow with the nominees, nominees somewhere online. I do not know if the ballot is posted or not. Bill? Uh, no, no cop the ballot is not posted. Um, there's one election with two nominees and a write-in available. And you can pick up a copy of the ballot at your local town office. You just need to call ahead so that they know to expect you, or you can vote in person, at least in Jamaica, as long as you have a mask and you're six feet away from someone else. Okay, so no hands on the... Oh, Emily. Hey. I was just going to say, I, I do believe... Um, some town clerks do post ballots. I'm not sure if one of the five do here, but there are some towns that vote that post ballots themselves on their websites as well. So you should check with your town clerks. Thank you. Okay, I don't see any other hands on that article. Um, Article 11, again, we've been talking a little bit about the ballot. There, there is an election for an at-large school director. There are two people who have their names on the ballot, and there is a write-in box. Um, that'll, be, that'll be there. I guess we could entertain a procedural question. Okay, I don't see any hands. And the last article, Article 12, is shall the voters of the West River Modified Union School District authorize moving the operational surplus, if any, from fiscal year 20 to the reserve fund? That would just allow us, if there is an operational, um, if there is um, you know, money left in the 2020 budget, 
to put it into a capital reserve fund um, rather than, uh, you know, put it on to the next year or return it. That's pretty standard language. We have in the past, uh, you know, rolled that money into the reserve fund. And we've also, you know, used that reserve fund to take care of things that come up unexpectedly over the years. It's kind of a sound financial practice, wouldn't you say, Lori? I would say that, yes. I wasn't sure <laughs> if I was muted. I'm sorry? I wasn't, I thought I was muted, but I would say that, yes. <laughs> Any questions about that? Comments? Okay, that's all the articles. Um, does anyone, um, I can remind you the poll, you know, polling places are the Brookline Town Hall, the Jamaica Town Office, the Newbrook Firehouse, the Townsend Town Hall, and the Wyndham Town Office. Um, polls open everywhere except Wyndham at 9 a.m. Wyndham opens at 10 and polls close at 7. Um, I believe, I believe, actually, we could hear from our clerk. Do Does everyone, Anita, are you still here? Oh, no, she left. I believe everyone has procedures in place, um, you know, requesting that you socially distance vote. They're going to have hand sanitizer around. They'd like you to wear a mask. Some of it is going to be drive up. Some of it is going to be walk up. Um, but just go be safe and vote. Anything further tonight? Okay, board, I need you for two minutes. We've been asked to do a rather silly favor that is not um, in any way, uh, well, board related, um, but we need to plan it a bit. Ken, you have a question? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, just. For our next agenda for a regular meeting, can we put on the topic of the West River website? <laughs> Just so we can oh, discuss board. it at our next meeting, so we can see exactly what's going on with it. It's come up before because it hasn't been updated. Right. I'm just asking if we can put that on the next agenda. Sure. You being the board chair, I figured I'd ask you. Thank you. Sure. David, you want to say something? I was just saying goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for <laughs> for attending the uh, uh, West River District Informational and Annual 2020 meeting. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, Thank you, you, Mr. Moderator. To, my pleasure. Um, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and vote tomorrow. Very important. Okay. Thanks, David. Thank my you. My pleasure. David. My pleasure. Next year, we will see each other in person. Yeah. <laughs>